everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library and today we're talking about Legos! Yay! This is going to be our last Lego program before the summer starts. Uh, we'll be starting Legos back up again in the fall, probably. We'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, today we are going to be talking about making Lego zip lines, which is super fun. So you need two different things to make a Lego zip line. You need some Legos and you need something to make your zip line. So to make the actual Lego platform, you need something for your Lego person to sit in. I made a simple little box. Your Lego guy can stand in it, lie down in it, do whatever you want in it. You can have it hold multiple Lego characters, however you want to do it, works out fine. Um, and you need it to connect to your zip line somehow or another. Now for the actual zip line itself, it needs to be at a pretty steep angle and um, something slippery would work best. Yarn's a little fuzzy and it'll slow you down, but if you have any kind of cord or smooth string, that works great. And you just need to connect your zip line on there and whoosh. Let it go. Your ninjas can have awesome fun adventures. You can even make elevators. You can attach strings to pull them back up, make pulley systems, do whole tree houses full of zip lines and things. We would love to see whatever obstacle courses you make. If you'd like to attach them in the comments below, we'd love to see what you do. Thanks for tuning in guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.